Hi, my name is Alex with A Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a custom issue type so that you can make it available for your Jira projects. If you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button as it greatly helps me grow this channel. And if you like this video or if you find something beneficial from it, please make sure you smash that like button. If you have any questions about anything I cover in this video, make sure you drop a comment and I will address it appropriately. Let's get started. Okay, for this video, you're gonna wanna be logged into your Jira project. Any project will do because we're actually gonna be going to the global level administration. Uh, this task or what I'm about to explain to you is for your Jira administrator. So if you're a project admin and you just have administrative rights to a project, you are not going to be able to do this. This is strictly for those in the group site admins or maybe even the Jira admins. But regardless, this is going to be for a more power user or power administrator in the world of Jira. So if you come over here to the right side and click on settings, we're going to go to issues. Once you're there, you're automatically going to be brought into the issue types place where we are going to be actually creating a new issue type. And so in order to do that, we're going to click on the blue button here, add issue type. You are going to give it a name. As I am preparing to record a future video, and again, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe because you're not going to want to miss that video. But as I prepare for a future video, I'm actually going to create what I'm going to call an initiative. So I'm going to type in initiative and I'm going to make it a standard issue type. Now, I apparently cannot spell tiv. There we go. This is a better spelling. <laughs> uh, so we will have an initiative. It's going to be a standard issue type, and I will explain what that is in a second. But make sure that you pick standard issue type, because if you pick a subtask issue type, you're actually doing this in the wrong place. You're going to want to do this somewhere else. And so you want to make sure you pick standard issue type, as that is going to give us the greatest number of flexibilities possible uh, so that we can do what we're going to do in future videos. So go ahead and click Add. And you'll notice that this creates the uh, initiative issue type here. It gives you this little icon, which I absolutely do not like that gray. So I usually, after I make an issue, I will go and update the default avatar here under issue type avatar. I will go and select the new image. And typically for an initiative, I usually do like a little plus sign because you're, it's above the epic or has the potential to be above the epic. And I just like to think about it from, from that perspective as a little plus. So anyways, I've created the issue type and that's pretty much it. In the following video, I'm going to teach you how to associate this to a project. And in a future video, I'm also going to be teaching you how to create issue type schemes. So again, if you haven't subscribed already, this is going to be your opportunity to subscribe to this channel so that you can learn everything about Jira, but not just from a power user perspective, but I'm also going to be making a lot of videos from an administrative perspective. So make sure you are subscribed so you can learn these powerful features built into Jira that you may or may not know about. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.